angina pectoris or the chest pain it is due to ischemia of the heart muscles generally due to obstruction or spasm in the coronary artery ischemia means the lack of oxygen due to lack of the blood supply the types of angina are divided into six parts stable angina it is due to increase in the oxygen demand unstable angina it is during rest periods the variant angina it is similar to classical angina it is due to basically vasospasm of the coronary artery nocturnal angina it is basically occur at the night time associated with rapid eye movement during dreaming decubitus angina it occurs when the patient raised up after lying for a period post infection angina it is due to after the onset of myocardial infection the causes of angina there are two main causes of angina these are due to decreased blood supply in the heart or due to increase the blood demand in the heart let us see about the decreased supply in the heart decreased blood supply in the heart. coronary artery disease can be a cause for decreased blood supply circulatory disorders like are aortic valve stenosis aortic neurism that is distension of coronary artery lumen blood disorders like severe anemia hypoxia that is decrease in the oxygen level of the cells or tissue of the heart the second cause is increased blood demand in the heart it may be due to excessive exercise excessive emotional disturbance excessive food intake the other cause may be hypertension or some other heart disease the pathophysiology of the angina or the chest pain is due to the following causes there is increase in the demand of the oxygen in body which increase the work of heart that is increase the heart workload heart now needs more blood supply the coronary artery of the heart dilate and supply more blood to the heart but due to any factor or obstruction the blood supply is defected or affected heart now needs more blood demands since there is unavailability of the blood the oxygen level in the heart also decreases which develop the condition of ischemia which causes pain that is starts the anginic pain in pectoris that is chest muscles now some basic signs and symptoms which we can find in the patient are chest pain which may be radiating skin tone will be pallor and cold skin tachycardia can be seen dyspnea palpitation increase and decrease blood pressure and motionlessness in the patient the special characteristics of the chest pain the location is to the left side of the sternum severity may be mild to moderate onset may be quick or slow radiation the angina pain is generally radiate towards the neck left shoulder and upper left arm and downward to the fourth and fifth finger the sensations are burning bursting sensations patients have gas problem and indigestion also duration is less than 5 minutes diagnostic evaluation we can diagnose a patient of angina pectoris with the help of ecg where we can find the st elevation chest pain is also diagnosed during physical examination or assessment of the patient nitroglycerin test that is blood test angiography which shows coronary artery disease cardiac catheterization can also be used if there is blockage in the coronary artery the complication of the angina pectoris are myocardial infection and the heart failure it is very important to manage the condition condition as early as possible with the help of medical treatment the medical managements are vasodilators vasodilators generally increase blood flow in the myocardium muscles of the heart without affecting the oxygen requirement for example gtn or nitrates 
सेकेंड आर बीटा ब्लॉकर्स बीटा ब्लॉकर्स डिक्रीज द वर्कलोड ऑफ द हार्ट बाय द एक्शन ऑफ एसोडाइलेशन द मेन मेडिसिन गिवन और द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द बीटा ब्लॉकर आर प्रोपेनालॉल एंड एटीनालॉल विच कैन बी गिवन इन अमाउंट ऑफ ट्वेंटी टू फोर्टी एम जी कैल्शियम चैनल ब्लॉकर दे इम्प्रूव कोरोनरी ब्लड फ्लो फॉर एग्जाम्पल निफिडिपिन एंड वेरापामिल नेक्स्ट आर ओपियोड्स एनलजेसिक विच रिड्यूस पेन दीज आर मॉर्फिन सल्फेट्स एंटी प्लेटलेट ड्रग्स आर द नेक्स्ट विच आर ब्लड थिनर एग्जाम फॉर एग्जाम्पल एस्पिरिन इफ द कंडीशन गेटिंग वॉर्स एंड अनेबल टू हैंडल विद द हेल्प ऑफ मेडिकेशन दैन इट इज़ नेसेसरी टू टेक द सर्जिकल मैनेजमेंट एज सुन एज पॉसिबल द फोर बेसिक सर्जरी आर परक्यूटेनियस ट्रांसल्यूमिनल कोरोनरी एनजीओ प्लास्टी नेक्स्ट इज कोरोनरी आर्ट्रिएक्टोमी थर्ड वन इज इंसर्शन ऑफ अ कोरोनरी स्टन एंड द फोर्थ वन इज कोरोनरी आर्ट्री बाईपास क्राफ्टिंग इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू मैनेज द डाइट ऑफ द पेशेंट आफ्टर द सर्जरी और आफ्टर हैविंग अ चेस्ट पेन अटैक और एंजाइना फैक्टोरिस we should advise the patient to use low fat and low cholesterol diet they in as they increase the extra pressure on the heart advise the patient to take light and fibrous diet avoid caffeine intake advise patient to take low sodium diet it is also advised to avoid the alcohol and smoking health education education given to the patient of the angina pectoris are to avoid excessive exercise intake of excessive heavy meals are avoided to avoid undue excitement avoid sudden exposure of the cold weather and also avoid smoking alcohol and sexual activity for a period of time